Hello, my friends. Today we are making two projects. These are the projects in the last two weeks. I decided to put them in one video um, because one of the projects is pretty quick what I have to show you. So in your art kit that I sent home, you should have a foam um, picture frame. It's not gonna look just like mine, but it comes with something inside of it that fills up the space sort of like this. So get that out. We're gonna be using that. You also need from your art kit a bag of foam stickers that I sent home with you and a piece of paper. That paper is already inside my frame. And what we're going to be doing today is we're creating a frame and inside the frame, we are going to be creating a work of art. What you create inside the frame is up to you. If you have an idea, that's great. If you need an idea, my prompt is going to be to create a family portrait. Remember, we know that a portrait is a work of art of a person or people. It can sometimes be an animal also, but a family portrait would be a work of art of, that's right, your family. This can be family who lives in your house. This could be family that you don't live with, but you still would like to include. Think about aunts and uncles or cousins, things like that. So to begin, you're going to create your drawing on your piece of paper. So removing this, I'm going to get out my piece of paper and I'm going to begin by drawing my portrait. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I'm only drawing my portrait in a space that is going to fit um, inside my frame. So what you can do is get your frame, you can peel, there should be a sticky part, peel the sticky part off and just stick it on your paper. So I've stuck my frame on my paper, pretend. I've already used this one and I don't have extras. So you're gonna have to imagine that it's just the frame. I've peeled the sticky part off and just stuck it on my paper. So now I have paper in the middle. I'm gonna start drawing my family. So I'm gonna start with my dad. I'm trying to stay away from a stick figure. So I'm gonna draw his neck, his shirt, his pants, his shoes. I'm gonna make him waving. My dad's very friendly. Next, I'm going to draw my mom. And I'm gonna continue on with all of my family. All right, I drew my family super fast. It's not my best work because I was hurrying so I could get this done for you. My next step though would be to outline and color. After I've done that, this is the next step where you get to decorate your picture frame. So I've already started. I've used the stickers from my art kit. You can use also the insert that you took out of your frame. This has stickers also. And you can just peel the backing. Make sure you throw those away and then stick this on. You can also write on these frames if you have a permanent marker at your house and you're allowed to use it, you can use that too. So your job is to create a work of art inside. Then you will need to cut. You'll have extra paper sticking out from when we stuck our frame onto our paper. So picking up your paper, you're going to need to cut around your frame. And when you do that, you'll have this space that is all paper and you can hang this up at your house or give it to somebody as a gift. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Our next um, project, we are going to need a cup of water and a paintbrush. So I've got water and a paintbrush here. And you will need from your art kit, a bag of tissue paper that I put in there for you. And then you should have a white canvas board. Um, it's probably covered in plastic, so you're going to need to have a grown-up help you cut that plastic off, or you can trim it off by using scissors to get it open. I've already started this one. Um, this is kind of what it's going to end up looking like. What we're going to do is use our tissue paper 
This tissue paper is called bleeding tissue paper. That doesn't mean it's bleeding because it hurts. What it means is it will bleed or leak the color from the tissue paper onto your canvas. So to begin, you're going to get your canvas wet where you would like your tissue paper to go. So I'm just getting this space wet. I'm going to lay my tissue paper on top of it and then paint over that tissue paper so it sticks all the way on my canvas. And you can see some of the color already coming out from the side of it. Then I'm going to get the next spot wet, pick the color that I'd like to be next to it. I'm gonna pick like a dark blue and I'm gonna overlap it just a little bit so those colors mix together. And I'm gonna continue this process until my whole canvas is covered. You'll let these tissue papers dry and then when you peel them off, you'll get this sort of like painted kind of look on your canvas. And what you can do on top of that color is use an oil pastel or a crayon or even a Sharpie. And you can color or draw on your canvas some designs or some pictures if you want to over the colors you've made with your bleeding tissue paper. You wanna wait for the tissue paper to dry before you take it off. If you take it off too early, it can smear or just not get all the color that you want from the tissue paper. That's why I showed you guys one that I've already started so you can see what the colors will look like when you peel these papers off. These papers are recyclable, so you can put them in the recycling when you're done, or once they're dry, they'll still have some of their color on them, so you could reuse them for a collage, which would be pretty neat. So you wanna make sure you get your canvas wet first with your paintbrush, stick your tissue paper on, and then really make sure you get it wet on top. You don't want it like puddly, but wet enough that you can tell it's stuck onto the canvas. That's gonna make sure all the color that you need to get off of there comes off. And I'm gonna peel these ones off just so you see what they look like. But remember, you wanna wait for yours to dry. And that's the reason why you see this puddle that's happening. But you can see how awesome the colors are underneath. And then you get this really kind of neat tie-dye look and you can draw on top of it with other materials. So experiment with both of these projects. Take your time on your drawing and decorating your picture frame and then this is kind of a two-part project, putting on the tissue paper, letting it dry, and then drawing on top to create a background. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, have fun with your projects.